what kind of content can you make for your MSP? And in this video, we are talking about organic content, content that you don't have to go spend money on, content that is going to attract your target customer to become a lead for your MSP business, and then hopefully turn into money. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether it's sales training, marketing, or even business operations. We've been super fortunate. A ton of you guys have reached out to us over the last year, and it's really been incredible having the impact that we've been able to have on your businesses. So super, super cool. And I want to thank you for that. It really means the world to us. The fact that most of you guys are willing to trade, trust us with education, knowledge, and all of that in your business. So thank you. So I'm not even going to give you guys the pitch in this video because in all honesty, this whole video is kind of a weird pitch because I practice what I preach and I want to share that with you guys. And I've I've made an amalgamation, a, a list of every piece of content that you can make, both from written to visual and so much more. And hopefully by the end of this video, you get a bunch of little nuggets. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you the largest golden nugget that's going to tie this whole thing together and dramatically increase your workflow throughout this process, throughout creating organic content. So now that we've kind of laid out the ground rules, let's talk about what is organic content. Organic content is anything that you can make that is going to attract people to your business. And that is really providing value to them, helping them see the big picture. So that way they could come in and say, hey, you know what? This is the company that I want to do business with. This is who I would like to learn more about or maybe request a quote, whatever it might be to bring that person from a visitor, a viewer, a subscriber, all the way to first name, last name, phone number, email address that you can do things with. You can send them drip marketing. You can send, you can pick up the phone and make a phone call. This is important to know that. We wanna bring people into our world to show them how amazing we are. And the nice part about this entire process is all of it is not going to say, hey, we're the best ones. You got to buy from us. You got to. It's not that. It's the, actually the total opposite. It shows the clients through what you're creating that, hey, we are actually as good as we say we are. But not only are we as good as we say we are, there's not going to be a gamble. You're not going to have to risk money, right? You're not going to have to give us money in the hopes that you get the result. It shows that, hey, we know what we're doing, but you have to follow our process. You have to do what we recommend. And that's the best part about this whole thing. So without any further ado, let's talk about the first piece of content. And this, in my opinion, is the best piece of content for people that just don't like microphones or cameras. And that is blogging. I'm going to share my screen here just to go through it, just so you guys get a visual experience of it. But blogging is tremendous. There, we we are pretty active bloggers, where right? we do batch our content, so we'll we'll cram through a lot of it at one time, right? And a lot of our content, right, we just make, and some of it follows the videos. But we try to make as much content as possible regarding a, a blog, right? And the nice part about this blog is this blog might be I don't know. Let's say maybe fifteen hundred or two thousand words. Every single time we create a blog, especially on our website. Google has then the ability to say, hey, this blog has a lot of the text and a lot of the keywords that a person might be searching for. Let's bring them to that blog and see if that blog provides them value. Now, blogging does take time. I don't want to paint the picture that you're going to do it in five minutes. Can AI help? And yeah, a hundred percent. But at the end of the day, if you're not adding value to that blog, What's the value of your blog? If they could just go get the answers from Google or from AI, what value did you add? You can have AI help you write the blog, but at the end of the day, it's your job to insert your knowledge into that blog to make it that much better. And that's blogging 101. Now, there's a lot of structures and all that kind of stuff, and I'll get to that later on, but there is a cheat sheet you can grab on our website to actually write a better blog that way you can start to rank on Google. That's the best part about it is it's free traffic. You already probably have a website. doesn't really matter what platform you're on, whether 
dare I say GoDaddy or Wix or Squarespace or WordPress, it does not matter, even HubSpot, right? But being able to create that blog and have Google say, hey, there's this really good piece of content or multiple pieces of content, we should bring people from the internet and drive it there wildly important and it's something that's going to work for you 24 7 365 like most of these things are number two and it is what you are currently watching right is videos right we are we make a lot of videos <laughs> there's no but no beating around the bush there we make a lot of videos we're almost at the 5,000 subscriber mark so if you'd hit that like button subscribe button notification bell if your dog has a youtube channel too feel free to subscribe on there as well. We're so close. Uh, it is truly an inc incredible milestone and I'm super proud. But in all honesty, video is a really good way of reaching people, right? And yes, I don't watch my videos after they're published. I just let them be. I already kind of go through and edit them and make sure they're good. But producing content. Now, do you have to produce content at the level that we produce content at? No, that is crazy. We are crazy. But think about it. Nine, I can almost guarantee you a hundred percent of your competitors, if they've made content, are probably not making content anymore. And if they if they have never they probably just don't make content. That's really it. It's either they're probably not making content anymore if they have made content and they are they probably never made content. There is such a small chance of your competitors actually making content as far as videos go. It's okay they'll they're going to be there but the amount of competitors that you have as an MSP is so freaking small it's crazy don't be afraid if you don't need the fancy camera i have a list of what hardware i use at the bottom and there's a video i just made fairly recently for the hardware that i use but if you have one of these right this is gold if you want to get crazy and you want to really take it to the next level get yourself an auxiliary light this is just a little uh, I'll, I'll put it in the links, but it's called a G1S Pixel. This thing is fantastic. These two little devices, if you want to go crazy and you want to get an extra microphone for your phone, but between these one, two, or three devices, this being like maybe 100 bucks and a microphone being like $30, $40, you have an entire video production system in your pocket. You don't need the crazy stuff. Of course, you can go get the $3,000 camera. It's... It's the content of the video that really, really matters. Making video and starting and practicing and taking the time to go through it is worth way more than having the full production set up with the nice wave light, with the extra lights up here and the, trust me, you don't need it. Just start and as you progress and get better and better, then invest in the tools. I have shiny object syndrome too. I am also normal, but you don't need all that stuff to get started. Next is gonna be after you've made videos or you've thought about making videos, the next best thing is going to be podcasts. Podcasts are fantastic. Now we have the MSP Heroes podcast, which is our videos turned into podcasts. I will also say I'm gonna be doing some podcast only exclusives. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. You can get it on Apple Play or you can, or the Apple Podcast. You can get it on Google Play, wherever you find your podcasts. I use Spotify for the most part now, which is super strange because I used to only use Apple. But if you wanna go on there and grab it, you are welcome to. We'd also appreciate a fantastic review. But the nice part about podcast is there's no camera, right? We can get rid of that thing. It's just an audio experience. And if you're gonna do a podcast, this is the only time I'd say ball out. Please, for the love of God, get a good microphone. It's the only way that people are going to be able to consume your content. Get a good mic. Having this to record is not the best. This is only acceptable if you have headphones. And I'd even use hardwired headphones so there's no latency or the chances of a battery dying or anything like that. But if you want to go the podcast route, I'm all in favor of it. Just invest in a little bit of hardware so you can record directly into your computer. Record directly through USB. It's fine and just start recording podcasts, get it live, and start to create that kind of content. Next is gonna be social media posts. Now I pulled up LinkedIn here. If you wanna connect with me, I will leave a link down to my LinkedIn below, but you can post directly on your LinkedIn or you can post to your company page. If you wanna get crazy, you can either post directly to your company page and share on your personal, or you can post directly to your personal and share on your company page. Now I have it set up where every time I release a video, it automatically gets posted on 
LinkedIn and several other social media posts or platforms, it makes life a million times easier. For us, I don't, I just, I literally don't have time to make videos for every single platform and make the content different on every single platform. We already produce more content than anybody else in the space for the most part. I can't, I physically cannot do it. Maybe down the road at some point when I have a larger team, but for now, we're capped. But posting on LinkedIn, posting on Facebook, post on X, posting on Instagram, posting on, you guessed it, I'm going to say it, TikTok, huge opportunities. Make it, make it fun. Make it exciting. Make it engaging. You're going to learn over time. Your first posts are not going to be that great. If you're going to make, if you're going to post plain text or text with an image, make sure it's super captivating and invite people to like and follow your page. For example, if you go through here, I could view it as a member and you can go through and see what this looks like, but there's actually a way to go and, and invite people to your page to have them like your profile. It makes life a million times easier and once again, test whether sharing on your personal or sharing on your business. In the beginning, if you already have an audience and you're going cold turkey and you're starting your company fresh, go all in on posting on your personal and then build the business over time. So after social media posts, I'm actually just going to keep sharing my screen here, but after social media posts is white papers and eBooks. We have a bunch of them. They're called additional tools under growth-generators.com forward slash resources. One of those is the buyer persona where you can go grab the buyer persona. There's a ton of super helpful resources. I've even labeled some of them are free, but I forgot to label them. I apologize. I'm human. Plus I want to keep you guys guessing, but like free SEO checklist, free blog post template. You could literally download that and learn how to make a blog post. So it is they're in there, right? White papers and eBooks are worth their weight in gold and people are going to find tremendous value in them because most of the time, or hopefully you're not creating something that already exists. That's super generic. Make it something super unique to your audience. That also brings me to something I don't have quite up here yet is infographics, right? Actually, I think I do have an infographic somewhere floating around in here, but an infographic, something that somebody can follow and say, hey, this is what I want, this is what I need to know, right? After infographics, I brought up uh, one, of, one of the companies that I absolutely love, Cumulex. They have case studies. They You could go through and download the case study, right? In this case, it, the case study you can just publish, but they have a whole case study on what they did and how they did it, and it's really well written. I would say this is probably like one of, I would put this as a gold standard type case study. It's very well done, but case studies are another great option for businesses to kind of show off and brag about what they do, and it's a nice thing because because you get to show the transformation that you had or the trans the, the transformative action that happened because of your product and service. I say product and service because sometimes it might be configuring out a cloud or something of that nature. That's where it comes in handy. Building a case study shows people, hey, this is what we did. This is why we did it. This is the benefit to the customer and all of that. It's a really good way to basically brag without saying we're the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's really, really important. Next is going to be your masterclasses or your webinars or your live Q and A's. In this case, we have a free one hour masterclass. It's usually at the bottom of every video, right? And it asks you for your first name, last name, email, and phone number. Yes, I do ask for those things because I'm providing you a ton of value. I want to know who's watching these, right? But you could go through and grab it and watch it and you're going to get crazy value. We get really good feedback on our masterclasses. And it's the same thing with you. You can make a masterclass on cybersecurity, on HIPAA compliance, on FINRA compliance, on organization, on automation for certain businesses. There are so many opportunities for you to make a masterclass, a webinar, even doing a live one or, or just recording a very long video that's super informative and you can provide value in that case. People and companies absolutely love that. And not last but not least, which kind of goes hand in hand is testimonials. Now we're constantly adding testimonials. In this case, I'm still trying to grab them all. And if you've sent me a testimonial, I appreciate the heck out of you. I also appreciate the heck out of you for hitting that like button and that subscribe button. But we've gotten some incredible testimonials. I got to make this look a little better. Shh, don't tell anybody, but we're redoing the website as I've said a thousand times. But we've been truly able to help so many 
managed service providers with that. And last but not least, I kind of didn't add this one, but if you want, add a newsletter, right? Most people aren't that excited about a newsletter anymore, but some people do get excited over it. Me, not so much. Now, I did say at the beginning of this video, I was going to tie it all together. I'm going to show you and share with you the process that I think is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you do video or a blog post, I'm sorry, if you do video or a podcast, you can use software that will literally take all of your content, your entire video, and turn it into a blog post. So you don't, yeah, you might not be missing out on the video, but you can actually have it, right? You made the video or made the podcast, you did all the hard work. There are podcasts out there that will allow you to, or programs out there that will allow you to take your podcast or your video, as long as it's an MP3 file, transcribe it, and turn it into a blog post. And those blog posts are actually pretty darn good. Are they gonna be perfect? Absolutely not. Should you get your reading glasses on and go through it and tweak it and modify it? Of course you should. Or you hire somebody to do that, right? But if you've already created the content, then the coolest part about it is if you've made a video, you've made a podcast, you can also automate it to turn into social media posts. And as you begin to do that, you're going to attract more and more and more people. That's the benefit. And that's kind of the golden nugget. If it's video or audio, you can take that, turn it into a blog post. Even if you made it a blog post, you can have that blog post then be posted to social media saying, hey, we wrote a full-size blog post. Here's a little excerpt of it. If you want to learn more, click here. Boom. And then they have the option to go back to your website or to your blog post and read more. So that's how you tie the whole thing in. But these are all the kinds of organic content that you can make. Am I missing some? Not that I'm aware of. It usually would fall into any of these categories. But hey, you know what? I'm sure at some point and then in the future, somebody's going to have uh, content made out of drones. But hey, we're not there yet. So we're rocking with what we got in here. So once again, I appreciate if you hit the like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell. Good luck making content. If you want feedback, if you want thoughts, hang out with us in the discord growth-generators.com forward slash discord it's also at the top of the website growth-generators.com and i'm happy to jump in and give you guys feedback you guys have already asked for tons of feedback and i truly love helping you guys win in your msp journey i really do mean that with my whole heart it has been nothing but fulfilling for us and we look forward to being able to do it more other than that i'll see you guys in the next video love you guys bye